Hello, my name is Moss Norman, and today I want to talk about how I got a master's in computer science completely online from Georgia Institute of Technology's OMS CS program. I'm also going to give you some high level information about the program, as well as what my favorite classes were that I took during the program. And then I'm going to give you some tips in case you're thinking about applying to the program, or maybe you're in the program and you're trying to figure out how to survive it. First, let's cover some high level information about the OMS CS program. I'm sure you're wondering how much the program costs. You can get through the program without spending more than $8,000. Compared to other computer science programs, it's incredibly inexpensive. Secondly, how long does the program take to complete? If you take one class per semester, it would take you about three years to complete the program. If you were to do two classes per semester, it would take about a year and a half. In order to complete the program and graduate, you have to take 10 classes or have at least 30 credit hours. Additionally, the OMSCS program offers what's known as specializations. And specializations are essentially a subset of courses that focus on a particular area of computer science. And as of spring 2020, the specializations the OMSCS program offers are machine learning, computational perception and robotics, interactive intelligence, and computing systems. When I took the program, I did the computing system specialization. I did it for a couple of reasons. First, the courses in the system specialization felt more applicable to my job. And secondly, the other specialization courses focus very heavily on math, and I don't have a background, uh, a very good background in math, so I decided to avoid those courses. Next, I wanna talk about some of the struggles and the challenges that I faced uh, when taking the program. When I first applied to the program, my application was rejected. The school felt that I didn't have the technical background to be able to handle the coursework. The second time I applied, my application was approved, and I think that the only reason that it was approved was because uh, I had recently gotten a job as a DevOps engineer, and I put that role on my application, so I think that that role pushed it through. Prior to matriculating into the program, I had no computer science background, not in uh, my academic life or my professional life. My undergraduate degree was in creative writing, believe it or not. And professionally, my roles were focused more on IT than like software development. So I didn't really have uh, any computer science background before starting the program. In my first semester in spring 2017, I took two courses, software development process and machine learning for trading. Both of these courses are considered beginner courses in the OMSCS program. And I got two Fs in both courses. Not only was I unprepared for the workload of the program, but it was against the advice of orientation documents that the school sent out to take two courses your first semester. After receiving those two Fs, I was put on academic probation, which is basically a status where if the student receives a C uh, while in pro academic probation, they're removed from the program. So the program suddenly became even more difficult. I ended up recovering my GPA, but it took three years to recover it to a 2.9. And the graduation requirement is to have a cumulative GPA of a 3.0. In order to graduate, I had to write a petition to the faculty requesting that I basically have an exception to graduate with a 2.9. And that petition was approved. Next, I want to talk about what were my favorite courses that I took in the program. The first course that I want to cover is computational photography. This was a really fun course and had great projects, like writing a program to generate high dynamic range photos, and also a project where you wrote a seam carving algorithm. If you don't know what seam carving is, I encourage you to Google it. It's a very cool algorithm for dynamically cropping photos without losing information in the photo. The next class that I want to talk about is graduate intro to operating systems. This was a very, very difficult course. It really took me out of my comfort zone. And in that course, I wrote a file transfer protocol and I learned low-level C programming. It was a difficult but really rewarding course. The next course was Advanced Operating Systems. In Advanced OS, I wrote a virtual CPU scheduler as well as a memory management program. The coolest project in Advanced OS though was the MapReduce project. In that project, we wrote a simple implementation of the MapReduce framework for distributed computing. The next course in my favorites list was Educational Technology. In this course, they basically give you the freedom to pick any project that you want to work on for the entire semester. And for my project, I published a Udemy course. It was a low stress, fun class. Finally, there was Intro to Graduate Algorithms. This was my second to last course, and it's considered typically the last barrier for an OMSCS student to graduate. It's also notoriously difficult. Despite its difficulty, I did learn a lot and I enjoyed the course. Before diving into the program or applying, you might be asking, was the program worth it? I learned a lot of new skills taking this program, 
both technical and non-technical. The program forced me to manage my time better, and it also improved my problem-solving skills. And on top of that, every single course had a coding project that was grounded in real-world application. I think there's a common stereotype that computer science degrees focus only on the theory of computer science and not application. In the OMSCS program, you are applying theories every single day. Now you might be asking yourself, should you do it? Before you make any decisions, you should consider a few things. Firstly, consider the time commitment. I spent hundreds of hours, weeknights and weekdays, debugging coding projects. It was difficult to balance my full-time job and schoolwork at the same time. Secondly, I learned things in the program that I would have never learned on the job. So you might learn something in the program that opens a new door for you and redirects your career path. The last thing I wanna do is give you some tips on how to survive the OMSCS program. This is relevant if you're thinking about applying or if you're currently taking the program. Firstly, and I can't emphasize this enough, take one class per semester unless you're absolutely confident that you can handle the coursework. It was extremely difficult for me because I had no computer science background and I also mixed it with a new job role, but you might be in a different position and you might have computer science background, so maybe taking two courses would be uh, fine in your case. But definitely consider only taking one course first and then stepping it up to two courses per semester if you can handle it. Secondly, start projects early and work on them every day. Even if you only work on a project for 30 minutes every day, it's very important to continually make progress on projects. On average, projects in an OMSCS course last about four weeks, and the projects are typically not something that you can complete in a weekend. Thirdly, make sure that you supplement the course videos and the material with YouTube videos. I can't tell you how much I learned by watching YouTube videos throughout the program. Most of the time in the courses, they give you a high level overview of a particular topic, and then you're expected to go off on your own and really learn that topic. And finally, if you have the opportunity to, seek one-on-one -on -one tutoring if you're struggling. It can make a world of difference if you're struggling in a particular topic. Thanks for watching and I hope this video gave you actionable information. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave them below in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, please consider throwing a like on it.